I think the very fact that uh, the film club here in Burr, which was formed in and around the late 60s and has still managed to continue on until the present day, I think that ably demonstrates that there is a need, there is a demand for those kind of uh, films to be screened in the town. Uh, you know, nowadays more and more titles are available on DVD or available for download more quickly, but people still do, do like that shared experience of going to see something that they've never seen before and, and going for a pint afterwards and discussing their feelings and what they've just witnessed together as opposed to watching something on download and chatting about it on Facebook with your friends, which, you know, it's not participative. It's, there's, there's less give and take in that, in that exchange. Um, so for us, you know, 40 years of having a film club in the town, I think that, that's, that's proof in the pudding. Um, we, even when the film club started, there was a cinema in Burr that closed in the late 80s, I think it was. Um, and it never reopened. No cinema now exists in Burr, but the film club still thrives. So there, there is, you know, people do come out, do go see their films. And, and I think now with the festival as well, they, they, that's kind of, it builds up to that. Um, the festival is kind of like, a, a, you know, in the true sense of the word, it's like a celebration of film. So we get more and more people coming to the festival and then we get that kind of, um, I suppose, afterglow feeling of people coming along to the film club for the autumn and then into the spring. Now, I'm not saying it's easy to get those crowds along. It's not, you still have to, you know, engage an audience and it's not always the same audience. Um, but uh, nonetheless, the audience is there. It's a fine line between attracting, uh, attracting punters through your door, but also offering something different than what um, a local video rental store offers or what they can download freely available on iTunes. Um, so it, we try to, to give them something that will, that, that's not available in your local rental store, but also something that will provide a little bit of a challenge. The programmer for our festival is Swedish, so at the moment, for the past two years, there's been a, a Swedish flavour to anything that we've programmed. So, you know, out of the 15 or so films that we programmed during our festival, the main part of the festival, excluding the student side, um, the, the majority or at least half of those are Scandinavian, which coincides nicely with a nice period in Scandinavian uh, cinema as well. Luckily for us, um, and with our film club, again, it's kind of something similar. We can't program anything that's too readily available but at the same time you know if we're going to show some Japanese anime movie that five people in the town are interested in uh, and end up at the end of the year owing money to the bank we can't be that selective either so we do have to show the artist as well and get the crowds through the door and you know keep the box office happy keep the bank happy and then keep our customers relatively happy as well.